All right, my name is Jason. I'm Lorraine. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about uh, our wood stove. We just installed our wood stove last year. So last year was our first year with this wood stove that we installed in our single wide mobile home. I've did videos on that. I will put a link down to the DIY videos that I did installing uh, this wood stove. Uh, but today's video, we're gonna talk about kind of like what we learned uh, our experience with our first year with the wood stove. Now, prior to having this wood stove, we don't have, we never had experience with a stove or with a fireplace. Um, so we're just gonna share this experience with you guys. Our first year with the wood stove was not so great. We received our wood stove and I think that some of the fire bricks inside had gotten shuffled around. And so the first couple of months that we owned the wood stove, we had a really hard time lighting the wood stove and keeping it lit and keeping the fire going. And we couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. We had watched every YouTube video and Googled <laughs> everything, why we can't keep a wood stove lit and the fire going. And also there was a lot of smoke coming into our house. I was ready to give up until I had told, I was like, okay, I finally at one point I was like, you need to disassemble it because this it's like broken. Yeah, I thought like maybe I had installed it wrong, you know, cause it wasn't yeah. working. And so he finally um, removed this pipe here and lifted it up cause it's a telescopic pipe. He lifted up and we looked down and some of the bricks were just completely closing the opening. So we still don't know how the brick should lay. So we kind of just opened up that hole there and allowed ventilation to go through and it worked much better. That led us to this year when it came time to clean our wood stove. So a couple months back, we cleaned our wood stove for the first time. I bought a brush, and so I'm gonna attempt to clean it out. This is a telescoping pipe, so it, this moves up and down. Uh, what, make, what makes it e a lot easier to install, but um, that, that opening is not big enough, so I wanna go up from underneath and just scrub it down. Uh, but it looks like I need to unscrew from up top here and then pull this whole pipe out. So that's the pipe. Yeah, it needs to be scrubbed down. It's all dirty. I'm trying to be clean. <laughs> I don't want to dump a bunch of ashes on the, in the house. So I'm putting up a, a plastic bag and then I'm going to hopefully it'll all catch in here. I'm, just, I'm using a uh, painter's tape. I poke the brush through the plastic. Ooh, you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing ashes come out already. So I'm just adding to the extension so it'll make the brush longer to hopefully reach to the top. While we were cleaning the wood stove, again, we uh, were able to open it up and take a look at the brick and the bricks and how they were laid out. And I believe that we still had them in the wrong place, so we just had to push them towards the back of the wood stove, but still allow for some opening. And this year we feel that the fires are much, they burn much cleaner and they stay lit for much longer. Yeah, I think that was the problem. Like the bricks weren't arranged right. I don't know if that happened in shipping or happened when we moved it. And there's nothing telling you how the brick should lay. <laughs> you just kind of have to figure it out and like see, oh, that looks right, you know? And that's what we did. And it seems like, yeah, like it's working much better now. Yeah. <laughs> um, another thing is just, you know, lighting it, right? Yeah, learning how to light a wood stove and how to keep it going is an art form all in itself. Yeah. Like we were, at first we were putting in, um, when we first got our wood stove, we bought wood and it came in very large pieces. And so we couldn't get it into our wood stove, especially when the fire's kind of going and you want to keep the fire going. Um, the large pieces of wood were very tricky. And so we realized that's when we realized we have to cut our wood down even further because it is such a tiny wood stove for a tiny home. The longest piece that we could put in this wood stove is about 11 to 12 inches. 
Um, and that's long ways in the wood stove. Uh, if you want to put it short ways, that's even shorter. So that's like about six inches. Actually, most wood stoves, what I find is maybe they might have the same kind of opening as this doorway, but they're deeper. Yeah. And our wood stove, it, it's it's really shallow. Yeah. It's, it's not, there's not much depth to it at all. So the widest point is this opening. So what we found most challenging was that once we received chopped wood, we still have to cut it down further. And I think yeah. that ch chopping wood is still really new to us. And um, we're trying to figure out like, yeah, how to do that. Yeah, how to even how to use an ax, <laughs> how to use a, a chainsaw. <laughs> So like when you, t the typical size wood that you get is about 16 inches long. Uh, or so larger. Or lar yeah, so we need to chop that down even further to about 11. Um, so it's just like another step that we need to do. And so that was a whole other issue, a whole other thing that we had to learn of chopping wood. The maintenance for our wood stove is fairly easy. Um, every morning I just kind of wipe the glass clean and how I do that is take a paper towel wet it and then dip it into the ashes and clean the window. Um, and then I wanna take out some of the ashes and then place them into this bucket back here with the lid on it and we save the ashes for our garden. I will leave about about one inch layer of ashes into in the wood stove as like a insulation barrier to kind of just keep it insulated but other than that, it's pretty easy to maintain the wood stove and keeping it clean. This wood stove we bought at Home Depot and it's uh, it's an Englander. We like the wood stove because I think we like the way it looked. <laughs> uh, not having bought a wood stove before, uh, we, we like how it's boxy and like minimal looking. And we don't have like a super large area here, so we didn't want anything too deep. And honestly, I couldn't find anything else. I mean, maybe there's other ones out there that are better than this one. You know, I don't know. Um, but I think we, we like it. I mean, the only drawback I think that we don't like about it is that it is small and we need to cut down the wood, right? And we do have to feed it constantly because the yeah. wood is smaller, so it does burn faster. Yeah. Um, so we do have to keep feeding it. Yeah, you have to watch it and feed it. <laughs> but I imagine that's yeah. the same with any wood stove. Yeah, I mean, you just can't throw in big chunks of wood in there. <laughs> and then leave it overnight. <laughs> you have to just keep feeding it. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the only drawback. But other than that, I mean, I think our first year was such a learning experience with the wood stove. Um, we're happy with it now. Uh, it was just, you know, getting over that frustration of like, is this right? Did I install it right? I don't know how to do it. You know, I don't know what we're doing, but just by doing it and doing it and just you kind of figure it out what works and what doesn't. And now I feel like we got it. We got it. Right? So how well does this heat, this how well does it work? Um, I think it works really well. I feel right? that this year it heats our house so much more efficiently yes. than last year because we struggled because the fire bricks weren't properly in place. But now that they are, I feel that it does heat our house a lot more quickly than it did last year. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it is um, since it is a smaller wood stove, we do have to keep feeding the fire. <laughs> yeah. Or else once the fire goes out, our house gets really cold really fast. Yeah. And our house is about a thousand square feet. You know, it doesn't really like go into each room. Right. Um, we still use some space heaters uh, in the winter, um, but for the most part, like it'll do like in here, living room, kitchen uh, areas. Which and, is mostly yeah. where we hang out. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. kitchen is for me. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. You're yeah. happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're happy to share with you guys uh, kind of our experience with this wood stove and hopefully that can help you guys on maybe if you're hesitant of getting a wood stove. Um, and again, I will leave a links down uh, to how we installed this in our single wide mobile. And um, again, thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. You can also like these videos and uh, comment on these videos and share these videos. Uh, but uh, we appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.